it is a rare left-coiling snail found in Nottingham who is looking for a mate. The snail, whose shell grows the opposite way to most snails, was discovered by Professor Angus Davison from the University of Nottingham School of Life Sciences. It could help us to understand how the left and right side of the body is established in other animals, including humans. But its mate can't just be any old snail. Well, Professor Davison joins me now to tell us why. And Professor, first of all, congratulations. You've been looking for one of these snails for 28 years. How did it happen? Yeah, I know. And then, it, true irony, it was the day before I was going to fly to Japan to look for left coiling snails. I was walking home from work one day and I found one. Uh, I was amazed. Phew, hopefully you got a refund on your ticket. <laughs> Why is this discovery so important? Well, we, snails are unusual because they're the only animal group that, in a sense, wears its asymmetry, shows its left and right on the outside. So unlike ourselves, where one side is more or less a mirror image of the other, and so we would like to understand why you sometimes get very rare left coiling snails and whether it's an inherited condition. We can bring that back to ourselves because, of course, we're not like snails at all outwardly, but inwardly we're asymmetric. So nearly everybody has their heart on the left hand side. And that means you have two lobes of the lung on the left, three on the right. So we're completely asymmetric. And about one in 10,000 people is also mirror imaged. And we would like to know if it's the same pathway that's ultimately determining the left side of a snail's body and the left side of a human body. So, so I work on snail part of that. Yeah, so this snail is a young adult. I believe you have him, her there, do, do, do snails I have? I do, yes. Yeah, well, let, let's have a look because, um, importantly, it needs a mate and also it needs a name. Yes, that's right. So in the tradition, when persons have found them before, they've given them a name. So this is the first time I've ever found one. So I would like the public to help us to try to find a name. But as you say, the important bit is also to, find, to try to find a mate. The hermaphrodite, so any other left coiling snail of that type would be fantastic. Um, and only, in, and you might ask, well, if they're hermaphrodite, they don't self fertilize, so we need to find another snail to, for it to mate with. And of course, sorry, what I haven't said is left and right snails are unable to mate with each other. So it's another very rare left coiling snail that we need to find. Okay, well, you're appealing for the public for a name, but also to keep their eyes peeled. Uh, for any of these left coiling snails and the marker is the the snail shell going in the uh, opposite direction in the left hand direction okay professor angus davison uh, thank you so much really interesting to You're hear welcome. from you on the uk tonight thank you and good luck